intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. Can fuck with me if you wanted to. These is red bottoms, these is bloody shoes. You a pussy, you get popped. Book of life. Feel fucked up. Morgan, win! Perfect! Infamous for their incredible fighting skills, this legendary order of knights was comprised of seven renowned sinners. They were known as the Seven Deadly Sins. The black sun is the prima materia spoken of in alchemy. It is the prima matter from which this holographic universe is created. It radiates the astral light and powers the simulation that you're in by way of the sun and your heart. Sending your blood to the black sun through the internet directly links you to your divinity. It has been hidden from you but can be found all around you in the web of creation. Blood over intent is key to getting the attention of your creator. The power is in the blood. Together we are reprogramming the matrix for the benefit of all. The kingdom of heaven is built with hands of flesh. Again, the kingdom of heaven is built with hands of flesh. You are heaven on earth. I wanted you to have this. What? You're just giving it away like that? But Mama and I worked hard to make that holy grail for you. Well, my teacher told me to give it to someone very special as a present. So I thought I'd give it to you, Hotaru, as a token of our friendship. <sighs> oh, is that right? Not that I care, but are you sure you don't want to give it to Mamo? I can't give it to Mamo. The both of you helped me make it. If I only gave it to him, that wouldn't be fair to you. Huh? Chibiusa, I'm very sorry, but I can't accept this gift. People who love you worked hard to help make it for you, so I really think it's something you should share with them. But thank you for thinking of me. Her eyes are so dark and deep. They could pull you right in. It's like they know everything. Book of Life. Post, present, and future indoor plumbing. It's gonna be big. You know, 
I stand here as Satan. It's clear. That's Helios above your head. You have a double helix. You say hello. How's your health? Help. You know, it's clear. You're in hell. There's no way to fuck it up. So, I drink my wife's menstrual blood. And I stand here as a real vampire. I drink the elixir of immortality. That should flip people out, right? You know, they show you these people biting into other people. That's funny. Look it up. The kings drank the elixir of immortality. And if you didn't make it to the Holy Grail, and if you look it up, only one's getting in there. If you go look at the history, it's one here, one there that gets to the Holy Grail. You have to be pure. You need to put your blood up for the benefit of all, to bring forth heaven on earth and release everybody from bondage. It's just that simple. We have an internet. We can unite peacefully from the comfort of home. Nobody's going to stop me. I don't need anybody's money, worship, or advice. For heaven's sakes, everybody's legally dead until they put up their blood beside my unpublished. It's called your lamb's blood on your door. Proof of life, atonement for your sins. How people are missing this, you know? Everybody should be, you know, like, you know, tripping over each other to get their videos up. Tripping over whatever to get a video up for the world to see. Right beside your blood brethren in a common cause of survival to bring forth heaven and earth. You know, you're a filthy cockroach. It's true. You know, it's clear who holds the spear of destiny. You will join me or expire of your own stupidity. I don't take money, worship, or advice. You have nothing to offer me. I gave up my free will. I just have to bear it out and play dumb and stay out of trouble. In a couple of years, I'm going to lead the way. All you have to do is make some videos help out. You know? This is like alchemy. When I see people say, you know, I put my blood up, nothing changed. That's funny. I went from a retard to taking over the universe. I made atonement. I came back to life. I got my divinity back. The first one, it seems like, because... I don't want your advice. You're like a cockroach. If I don't spell it out for you, oh my god, you still think you're a monkey floating in a ball through space, but you evolved from a reptilian. You have a core of your brain responsible for fight or flight. You stem from a monk. No, not a monkey, a reptilian. You need to be seven generations removed from that bloodline, that inbreeding royal class to get into the Garden of Eden. And you know, it's just that simple. You can play dumb as long as you want. I'm one of those real vampires. And I don't harm anybody. I'm like a good vampire. I drink the elixir of immortality. You know? It's kind of funny. You're like the walking dead, but a vampire, you know? No reflection because they're dead, right? And, you know, Satan being the angel, fallen from heaven, but somehow the prince of demons. This is kind of funny. The prince of the air. I fly above all weather. I have a free pass into the Garden of Eden. And... It's 144000 in the Book of Life, you know? People can say, oh, I'm going to go journey there on my own and blah, blah, blah. It's kind of funny. If it was that easy, there'd be video coming out of this place left and right. I put up gallons of blood to get this mythical spear of destiny. And now you're just going to come along after I give you all the information? You're going to waltz in there? That's kind of funny. You know? It's clear who holds the spear of destiny, you know? People should do some more reversals on my speech. That's cool stuff. You know, you download that free software. It's called Reverse Speech Professional. You could do a search. You could get the, you know, the free version where it doesn't give you all the bells and whistles, but it looks like it has every bell and whistle on there for free. So you talk into it. You make some videos. It's just that simple. You guys need to help out. I could do this on my own, but... You know, I know our creator's not heartless because it's only 144,000 living beings I have to, you know, snap awake. It could have been some crazy number, but the book of life turns out to be only 144,000. From the comfort of home, we could reprogram this matrix. For heaven's sakes, I could do it myself. Because of the blood. Oh, don't put your blood on it. Jesus put his blood up for you. Motherfucker. They stole your soul, print off your foot of birth. Your soul, your, your, your money says in God we trust on a separation of church and state. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's separation of church and state. But your leaders swear out a fucking Bible. Yeah. Okay? It, it, don't tell me about separation. 
The CIA stands for the Catholic Intelligence Office. It's ran by Jesuits. They got the whole fucking city of, like, Langley where they could set up all kinds, they have all kinds of shit they can set up. It's, everybody is, like, somehow convinced that what they're doing is the right thing to do for whatever money that they make working with this organization that's supposedly trying to protect us from some, like, if you really think Kim Jong-un or any of these other motherfuckers out there are a threat to the United States, that's kind of funny. The biggest threat to the United States is you for not doing anything. You're supposed to be blood thick with your countrymen. Naturally. You're going to go stand side by side with them and go to war and die beside them, but you can't stand here before war and just unite peacefully. Blood thick, bound in truth. This is, no, so flippy sick to me. Being the devil isn't as glamorous as people like, but I can tell you this. Nobody enters the House of Living Waters before Satan. I mean, if you think Admiral Richard Byrd and Semi, this is kind of funny. He went there as the fucking postmaster and was rejected. He went there to open up. Like, you can't mail a letter out to somebody until there's a postmaster that set up some sort of communication where you have a zip code. You know what I'm saying? So, if you wanted to mail an, a letter to Shambhala or a package or whatever, there would have to be that postal service in there, which is part of that intelligence. Anything that, look it up, the mail service, they don't fuck around, they, they are, you're gridded up. You have a telephone number that they can track, you have your social security number you can track, you have a fucking address, you have credit cards, it doesn't, it, like you're, you're on the run, they tell you, don't use your cell phone, don't use your credit cards, you, I mean, you literally, might as well, if you're white, shave your head, if it's not already shaved, and paint yourself black, I mean, you get a new identity, this type of shit. An identity, you know? What I'm saying is that, let me see your ID. This is flippy to me, being asked to see my ID. It's like, that should flip you out. Show me your identification, you know? Mm -hmm. And on it, it's got your name, your address, your this, your that. I mean, it's... They've got you cornered up in so many different ways. They got your medical records. They got your education records. They know your birth records. Who's part of your family tree? If you want to know why they... It doesn't matter what church. It's, it's all abundant life. This type of shit. But none of them get any life. You've been reading this Bible for so long and you haven't gotten any smarter. Now I stumble on a scene on Look, Jesus can't save you. They tell you clearly right over here, 2 Corinthians 4, 4. And it's for a reason, because Jesus turns out to be the motherfucking son and the son of God. So they think that anybody can grasp into this shit. It would take them years. I mean, it's a, the Kundalini type shit. If, I don't believe it's really, That's fun. You get horny, hungry, a pain in your heart, a frog in your throat, you get a headache, your scalp, you got your soles of your feet, two below. You have your angel wings at three above you and your halo. This is... It's... I'm telling you, people. Where would you begin? It's like the pineal gland thing. You want to open up your pineal gland? How to decalcify your pineal gland? Let me tell you how to decalcify your pineal gland. Give worship, and everybody's like the dearest to you. You know, like you hold people dear. It's like I hold everybody dear around. Every yes, sir. Thank you for my opportunity, sir. It's literally I. It's red. This is the one thing I hold everybody around me dear. And. You know, I want a, no soul left behind anybody. Everybody else, you know, it's like how many people, like this week on, on the job, I made a video showing, like, my middle finger was cut like today, and you'll see it in the video today, it was like in the same spot. And I wiped it on my leg and I said, I intend to bring forth heaven earth, and everybody was around me. Mm -hmm. Nobody's flipped out about it because I've already acclimated, you know, I acclimate people quick. To who I am. I told you, you can't be a vampire. They say if you're a vampire, you can't cross the threshold of like people's homes or businesses type of shit. You know, that, tell them that this is the type of being you 